Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I feel compelled to do a really quick little video about uh, domestic violence because a few days ago my daughter's friend got beaten up pretty badly. Uh, here recently I found out that a couple that I know that are usually very peaceful, the guy nutted up, lost his temper, beat up my friend, um, and actually another friend got roughed up. I mean, I... I actually think that maybe the radiation is causing it because in two of these instances the men heretofore have never been violent and I think there's something going on but that does not abdicate responsibility I'm just saying I really think that what we need to do is speak openly and bring it out into the open we need to bring violence domestic violence family violence out of the closet so that people don't feel the victims don't feel ashamed. The perpetrators stop feeling like monsters in the closet. Um, it's time for us to be honest human beings who are willing to work through these emotions. Learn how to respond in a nonviolent way. And for you men and women out there who have battered and abused, verbally abused your partners, uh, there is help and you can get therapy. There are groups that you can go to. There is individual counseling you can get. In almost every community across America, you can get counseling at a community counseling center that allows you to get counseling like according to what you could pay. And it's all confidential. And for victims, you know, even if you're not going to leave your partner, go to a battered woman's shelter and start getting counseling. Because you don't deserve it and frankly your partner doesn't be doesn't need to be in a relationship that allows domestic violence so we're not going to heal our planet until we get our relationships right and I just felt really compelled you know I'm a survivor of severe child abuse my parents had no boundaries in terms of violence with their eight children and I have been committed to nonviolence all of my adult life. In fact, all of my life since I grew up around all that insanity. But this week was really bizarre. I mean, three people that I know. And in every case, the woman felt like it was her fault. She felt ashamed. She didn't want to tell anybody. And I think that that has got to end. We, we need to start taking this stuff out of, out of the closet and letting people heal and until we discuss it have honest conversations and learn how to manage our lives better we're only going to perpetrate it so i'll end here ciao you guys sweet dreams i'll talk to you tomorrow